Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PCGO Chilling Rain video. Today, guys, we're taking a look at another new VMAX. That is, of course, going to be the brand new Single Strike Galarian Slow King VMAX. This card is really cool and is arguably the best poison attacker we have in the game right now. Max Toxify for 2 energy can do a whopping 10 damage. However, your opponent's active is now poisoned, and then during checkup, which is in between turns, you put 12 damage counters on that Pokemon, which is pretty powerful. 12 damage with poison is nothing to laugh at. Of course, we can do even more damage with poison with Toxicroak's ability, allowing you to put two more damage on, so that can go from 120 to 140. Since Slowking is a single strike card, we got to combine this with Houndoom and single strike energy to increase our damage even more. And then all of a sudden, Slowking is hitting like a truck with the poison damage. There's a few issues with the deck. Of course, your opponent can very easily play Switch and stuff or hard retreating. So we are going to be playing some Galar Mine to make it hard on them to retreat out of the active spot. Um, we can't really do anything about Maulana, Bird Keeper, and normal Switch themselves. But as long as we can counter that, we should be chilling. This is the list I am using here for my Slow King deck. So yeah, before we get the video, of course, show to the sponsor, Card Cabin TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any PCGO pack codes, make sure to go get them over at Card Cabin. Card Cabin sells PCGO codes online for the cheapest. So if you guys are looking to pick up Chilling Rain codes still, if you're trying to get Chilling Rain pack codes, Chilling Rain ETB codes, or Chilling Rain pre-release kit codes, get some of those pre-release promos like the Inteleon. Get them over at Card Cabin, and of course, if you do get any codes over at Card Cabin at the checkout, you can use my discount code, code LDF, for a 5% discount on your purchase to help the channel help yourself out and help out Card Cabin. So big shout out to Card Cabin, check them out, use code LDF if you get any codes. Also, if you want to check out the video articles I've been posting, make sure to go give them a watch, it'd be appreciated. I just posted one on an Ice Rider Inteleon deck profile. Let's look at the list. So... Here's my list for my Slow King deck. Um, again, the fact that it's a single strike card is really nice. Getting to play Houndoom is really cool. Gives you extra energy acceleration and lets you power up your Slow King a little bit easier, which is good. Even though it needs two energy, attach two energy sometimes can be a big deal. And also lets you get the extra energy in play to attach to another Slow King. Um, the Tongue Stroke is really nice too. Um, I am using some Malalanas in the deck. I am playing a lot of switching cards. Obviously, Galarmine can hurt yourself. Your opponent can obviously strap something the active like Toxic Croak or Houndoom or even Crobat for that matter. So having Galarmine in general can be really useful in case your opponent does try to do that. Um, so we are playing the Malalanas, the Bird Keeper, the Switch in the deck just to have extra ways to move around the Slow King. Um, the Malalana is really nice to heal your Slow King. I originally did have Cheryl in the deck because the idea behind Cheryl is you can go Houndoom and repower your guy back up. So your Slow King to hit, you go Cheryl, remove all the energy off it. If you have a Houndoom in play and an energy in your hand, you can go Houndoom, attach, and then repower him back up out of nowhere, which I kind of like that idea a little bit. But I scrapped it for Malalana because it's also healing, but also lets you switch, which is very beneficial. I am playing just one Crobat. I wouldn't mind maybe playing a Dedane in the deck or, I don't know, like a Krikatoon or an Eldegoss uh, just for extra draw. Extra draw wouldn't be a bad idea. You could even play a Crobat VMAX in the deck if you want. I mean, you already have the Krogunks and the Dark Energy, so you could even try to get away with a Crobat VMAX. Kind of a meme, though, but I don't know. Uh, got a couple urns in the deck. We don't need to play four because we don't rely on the urn too much. The normal Slowking V is kind of cool, too, with that World of Ruin and Concoction attack. Concoction is actually pretty nice, allowing you to draw three cards if you discard a card. So it gives you extra draw support if you have a dead hand, which a lot of the time you will, because um, PC Joe. And then you have World of Ruin, um, which at the end of your opponent's next turn, the defending Pokemon is knocked out. So combine that with Galar Mine, and you could maybe trap him in the active, which is kind of cool. Uh, might do a video on this card at some point. I have some ideas. I got three boss. Boss is really nice with Galar Mine to trap stuff. Uh, I am playing some weakness cards for the Urshifu matchup. Rapid Strike Urshifu is very hard to beat because they can easily one-shot you if you have 20 damage on your Houndoom. Uh, with your Houndoom, sorry. The weakness card protects ourselves from getting killed by Rapid Strike Urshifu. Um, the matchup's still kind of hard, though, because they do play a lot of switching cards, so they have a lot of ways to stop the poison damage. However, the weakness card makes it a little bit easier to beat them, and Malalana can help, too, so we can kind of heal that Gale Thrust damage they did. Let's go try the deck out, see in action, and see if Galarian Sloking VMAX can win some games. Okay, here we go. Let's get into the game with Soul King VMAX here. We've lost the coin flip. Obviously, this we want to be going first, so... Let's go. We're going first. Uh, we're going to be playing against a Welder Mewtwo deck. We got a pretty solid starting hand. Um, we'll see what we're playing against. Most likely a Mewtwo, judging from the sleeves and the coin. Uh, we can maybe beat Mewtwo. Let's see. We just got to hope they don't play too many switching cards. Ooh, Tempozard. Yikes. Hmm. This is a little problematic because we could get knocked out turn one by Fireball, which is amazing. I love getting donked. I love it, bro. Getting donked is so fun. Um, We could switch into this, but that's just one more card we have to burn. I think we got it. I want to try to get a Houndoom. I don't want to lose my Slowking. Um, no Hound Hour. We got Mew, though, which we'll bench so they can't do Cram. 
Not an ideal start. If we got a Hound Doom there, we could have went retreat the Krogunk into the Sloking. I can't risk getting knocked out, though, in the active spot. I don't think it's worth it to leave Sloking in the active. Because um, we can already knock out the Blissafalm with Poison anyway, so we don't really care about the Krogunk at the moment. Um, yeah, they have a Welder. They probably KO my Sloking here. I don't want to risk that, you know? I don't think it's worth it. Yeah, they have the Welder. They got the two energy in their hand. It's not worth it, bro. Never let your boy die. I don't really care if they kill Krogunk, though. Um, see what they do here. We need to find a VMAX. Marnie a VMAX would be pretty strong, because Marnie against Philcephalon deck's good. Now, the nice thing about Sloking is the poison damage actually bypasses Oracorio GX, which could make a big difference in this matchup. We'll have to see. But yeah, it could make a big difference if you have them die to poison going back into their turn too, which is good. So there's a lot of things in this matchup that can go our way. But it just comes down to whether or not our draws are like, yo, here you go, here's what you're looking for, and yes, you can set up. I do think this is a potential winnable matchup for us. Let's see. Reshi's Zard. Okay, now we need the Tox to play for Reshi's Zard. Even with the single strikes, we still need the Crook. Let's see what they got here. We're probably going to see Fireball Circus. Yes, we will probably get KO'd. Did they go to Cherish Ball for Dedenne if they didn't have a knockout on Sloking, right? See, so I think we had to switch there. We had to switch. We draw a VMAX. We could boss Reshi's Zard, maybe. I do want to kill this Blown right away. What do we draw? Research. Lots of supporters going to the bottom of the deck. Yes, sir. Marnie, you can't just shuffle the deck. Here we go. Will we find VMAX? We do, but our, the rest of our hand is kind of terrible, which is not good, but I don't think we're getting KO'd just yet. So hopefully we can get something going off this next turn. Here we go. Max Toxify. The poison damage will KO the Blacephalon, and we bypass our Corio, which might make a big difference here. Let me just hope they don't double blaze us. Um, there's another Krogunk. We need a supporter, though, or another Slow King ASAP. Yeah, we just pray they don't have a Welder here. Again, they can't play Oracorio, so they have to rely on, like, Dedenne or Crobat. If they don't have a Welder, like, if they whiff an attack this turn, I think we're fine. If they get the attack off and it's a double blaze, we're not fine. If they outrage me, I think we're okay. If they double blaze me, then, uh, this might just be an F in the chat in a few turns, because that Marnie gave me nothing to work with, um, because, uh, we put four supporters upon the deck. Let's go. I think we bypassed it, right? Yes, let's go. Okay. Marnie stuck, um... So I think we do want to do that extra damage. So we max Toxify here for a little bit of damage. 30 damage. Yes, sir. Best damage ever. And the poison will KO them going back into my turn, which is huge. Will they draw a switch off their top deck here? Or do they already have one in their hand? Let's find out. Maybe we should play Path the Peak in this deck, to be honest. I don't know. Okay, there's a Cram coming down. They could switch into Beat Catch. We'll see, though. Again, they can't do anything because we have Mew. We could also switch, too. Oh, they do have energy. Do they have a switch in their hand? They don't. Let's go. Okay, we can't kill the Cram just yet. Um, but maybe. There's a Calm. We already played Crobat, though. There's another Slow King. Okay, at least we got another Slow King. That's fine. Okay, we got at least we have another Slow King to work with, which is honestly pretty good. All right, let's go. We just Marnie them into a dead hand, thanks to Welder decks not having much consistency, and Poison did them in. Uh, they can finally get a little bit more set up here, thanks to... Yeah, hold on. I'm not winning the game, right? We're doing 30... I th was I winning if I put the single strike energy on? I'm not quite sure. I might have... I don't, I don't think I threw, but I might have had game there if I put the single strike energy on. Uh, and played Toxy Crow. Anyways, this is Max Toxify. I'm not sure it really makes a difference. We're very far ahead at this point. Uh, did I have game 50, 120, 140? We did have game. No, we didn't. We were 10 damage short, right? We went on 30 damage, 180... Forty. I think we were 10 damage short there. I'm not sure if we had game or not. But, uh, I mean, we're still in a good spot. If I put the single strike on, we could have killed them with Mew. So maybe I could have just played for that. Doesn't really make a big difference, though. Like, we're still most likely winning. They can't even double blaze me next turn, which is good. Just got another Sloking VMAX here. Be safe. Go like this. We could just Max Tox fight. And the same thing will happen. They'll get knocked out going back into my turn. I mean, yeah, this is just uh, pretty much as good as a spot as we want to be in. Um, we'll see if they can do anything. I mean, at this point, it's probably just game over. I mean, they have to find another Pokemon to go into and an energy or else this Reshi's Art goes down. They can outrage me for a lot of damage. It won't KO me. And then we do just win. Like, I'm not sure if we had game on the Cram. I'm just too lazy to do the math. We might have had game on the Cram there. I don't know. Now we're doing, what, 50, 70... I think, I don't know. Okay, well, they did. Yeah, okay, well, we won. 
It didn't matter. We got him anyways. I mean, we were super far ahead in the match anyways. Like, I don't think we were losing to regardless if we did whip the KO there anyways. Uh, right? Like, we were still pretty much winning the game. Like, we're super far ahead. We got him. There we go. Temple Stars beaten. The map worked out really well there thanks to Max Toxify and Tag Team HP. All right, here we go. We've lost the coin flip here. We're up against a Cullis deck. wonder if it's Altaria. I haven't drained Altaria to Sidgewine in a long time. So maybe it's an Altaria deck. All right, Crobat, please do not be prized. This hand is going to be good if Crobat is not prized. All right, let's see what we're playing against here. Ooh, a Cram. Oh, it might be a Cram VMAX deck. We'll have to see. Yep. Cram VMAX. Ah, oh, big charm. That does hurt a little bit, I guess. Ah, and they got the Porygon. Oh, they got to go to Dene, though. Hmm. Hopefully, they lose a Gloomy Tangle. No, they lose a triple, though. Okay, well, yeah, if Crobat's not prized, we can try to draw some cards here. We're definitely going to need to. All right. Hopefully, they don't get the Porygon down this turn. That'd be great. Never lucky, bro. Never lucky. They're going to get the turn two VMAC. Or turn two, yeah, and they're probably going to get the turn two Porygon. Attaching this guy might actually not work. Favor. What do we draw? Yes, another Galar Mine. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, that's one I needed game. Yes, sir. -y. All right. Well, Crobat and Prey. Even though I don't want to research because I don't want to lose my Galar Mine. Yeah, it looks like we're not going to have to worry about that. We do get to do our first attack, though, which is pretty nice. So we can draw some extra cards here, try to get some more things in our hand. No supporter, but at least we have a turn two Slow King VMAX. All right, will they have a rare candy in their hand? Or card hand? Do they have a rare candy Porygon Z? The answer is yes. Um, yeah, we really need to get a supporter, though, ASAP. To be fair, I do want to poison the uh, the Cram VMAX over the Cram. I'm assuming they're going to go B-Catch here. I got to imagine they're going to do B-Catch this turn if they don't have the attack. Um, no, they had a research. And they don't lose a rare candy just yet. No, no, I wish they would have stabbed me there, too, to be honest. Yeah, there's a counter. That's fine. We got another thing coming. Okay, they got the VMAX. That means they do have the Rare Kitty Porygon Z in their hand, most likely. Yep, they drew it, probably, and they're going to attack me. Probably going to be a goner. We still can go Houndoom. Oh, maybe they didn't get it. They have to lose two boss. Interesting they play two bosses order instead of one. No, maybe they don't have it. If they don't have it here, that's good. That's really, really good. Do they have a Crobat in their hand? I got to imagine they do. I don't know why they would have evolved if they didn't have a Crobat. They're trying to draw as many cards as they can. If they don't have it, though. It's really, really good. Yeah, they had a Crobat rip. And one card in their hand could be Rare Candy or Porygon Z, and they're going to high roll here off a of Crobat. They could do Denny again, though. Oh, no. They get a Mew. All right. Did they whiff it? It looks like they did. They have a one-card hand, and they, they're going to be bench-locked. Unless that one card happens to be a Crobat or a Dene. I think uh, that's good. Nice. Nice. Still not drawing anything, though, so we're still kind of in a bit of a limbo state for the time being. And if my opponent can KO me next turn, I mean, we are going to be in a lot of trouble. We can bump their stadium again, though. We go for the max Toxify. Hit them a little hard here. No Krogunk or Toxor can play to increase the damage, so we're not going to be carrying them into our next turn. But we will knock them out next turn if they stay in the active. And we have a Galar Mine in play, so currently the Cram can't move. Ooh, they drew a Pokecom. That's lucky. Might be a little too late, though. We'll see what they grab. No, they have no draw left in the deck. Do they have a supporter in their hand? They do. Oh, and it's a professor's research. Not even a Marnie to give me a better hand. Oh, my goodness. All right, that should get them a Rare Candy Porygon Z. They have 20 cards left, so there's a very good chance they find a Rare Candy Porygon here. And there's a good chance we get knocked out. Maybe not. If they get unlucky with the coin flips, we'll be okay. Okay, they did have Crobat. Wait, why would they not Crobat when they had that one hand, though? I don't know. They Crobat it for one... The one card gets the Mercury Porygon, bro? One time, bro? Nah, no chance, bro. No chance. Hopefully, they don't get another Glimwood down, too. Okay, nice. Now, we got to hope they don't kill me. Okay. No, no. Stop getting heads. Okay, thank you. We live the turn. Barely, though. We actually would have been knocked out if they got another heads. Unfortunately, they don't die into our turn. Um, We're still not drawing anything here. I mean, we can KO them finally. And, I mean, we could still live the turn. Unless they have another triple. But they could get triple tails. At least we got the knockout. We're still kind of in the game here. There's a Pokemon. Supporter, please give me a supporter. And ah, wrong supporter. Eh, maybe we can play it. If we don't get knocked out, we can play the Malon and make it harder on them. They probably have a triple energy in their hand. Or they're finally going to get the Rare Candy Porygon down, though. That's probably not going to make much of a difference. Yeah. They could get triple tails, though, if they don't have anything. 
Okay, they finally have a Marnie. So we can finally try to get a draw supporter here after years of agony and pain. No, what? Okay. Nope, they got me. Okay, at least, okay, that's good. They got triple heads when they didn't need to get triple heads. That's actually not bad. Um, still, somehow, we still don't have a damn draw supporter to play. Um, so I gotta think here. I could go for World of Ruin, which is tempting. Okay, now I think I do switch. I think I will go Ru World of Ruin. Marnie seems pretty good. And then the cramp stays stuck, we win. As long as we don't evolve. Yeah, okay. Bench this. All right, let's go. We're going to do World of Ruin, and we're just pretty much going to bank on this winning us the game. I mean, we don't really have much of a choice. We could put... I mean... We could put the Slow King in play, and we could just go Max Toxify. And the thing is, they are down three triple energies, right? So there's actually a chance we don't get knocked out by the cram. Right? They're down three research, too. They're down one Marnie. So, like, there's a good chance that my opponent doesn't knock out my Slow King VMAX. I guess because we didn't draw very well off that, we probably... Actually, I think we have to go for this play, actually, where we, we go Slow King VMAX. I think we have to. Because if they have anything, they probably... They have a better chance of knocking out this guy, and then we have nothing else to retaliate with, and we probably just lose at that point. So, I think we just got to go with the Slow King play and just hope for the best. The problem is, again, we're not going to poison them going into our turn... So if they somehow move the cram out of the poison, we are going to be in a little bit of an issue. Uh, unless we can get another, like, we can do a bit of extra damage with Toxtroke, and maybe we can get another single energy or a Houndoom or something, and then maybe increase the ceiling. We just got to bank on our Slow King not getting KO'd this turn. There's not much I can do about that. We just got to pray our Slow King survives a turn here. They drew their last research, but they do lose two Rare Candy off of that research, so there is a chance that we're still in the game here, because they could whip the Rare Candy Porygon. This game was super damn close. To be fair... Ah, oh, they finally... No! No! Okay, again, they're down a lot of energy, though. They are down a lot of energy here. So, there is a chance they can't kill me. Um, They found their last triple, bro. What? Lady Luck, bro. Lady Luck. Alright. Do they get anything else? They have a Quick Ball. Do they have another Dedenner Crobat in the deck? Bro, what is this? They do? No way. Oh, and they have another energy, too. Oh, my God. All right, we just got to pray they don't get that last Glimwood Tangle here. Oh, the luck, bro. No. The luck is not on our side. We just got to pray we survive the turn. Okay, they have a Rickety Porygon, which is two cards that are not energy or Glimwood, which is actually a good thing. Um, if they had another triple in the deck, we would probably lose this, but they don't, so that's good. As long as they don't have a Glimwood Tangle, we have a slim chance of winning the game. Oh, man, this is tight. Come on, Slow King. You got one job. Uh oh, powerful energy. Okay, no more energy, please. Three cards. Come on, Slow King. You got one job, bro. You got one job. All you have to do is survive the turn from this big bird, and you can win the game. That's all you gotta do, bro. All you gotta do is survive the turn from this big bird, and you will dominate the opponent with your Max Toxify. Come on, Slow King. You can do it, buddy. You just... Please do not get knocked out. And please do not have a Glimmer Tangle and two energy in your hand. Okay, looks like they are retreating, so they're going to play it cautious. So that's fine. But they, now they're losing even more energy now. So now they're out of triples. And without triple, it makes it really hard to KO. So now I think we have a chance of winning. If we can try to get a freaking supporter, we have a shot of maybe finding Boss's Order to maybe win the game by killing their Dedenne or Crobat. We do not draw Boss. We are still somehow not drawing any supporters. I mean, the fact they're out of triple makes me feel pretty safe that we're not going to get KO'd. Though, to be fair, they have six cards left. We could stall them out here by not KOing their Oregon Z. We could also switch into Hound Dower. Um, I'm imagining they're out of boss's order. Uh, they can't do Spit Shot because they're bench locked. And Well, they could put a Memory Capsule on, I guess. I like switching into Hound Dower here, just stalling them out. Like, they could stay stuck in the active. Uh, but they might have another Glimwood left in the deck, though. They probably do. They're down four research, two Marnies. So if they play a supporter, it might have to be a Marnie, which actually helps us. Again, though, like, they're out of triple, so it's actually a little hard for the Cram to kill my Slow King here in one hit. Um, I mean, stall and attack are both fine plays, in my opinion, but I think we just go for the attack and just KO them here. Again, they're low on, they're probably low on energy, and it might be hard for them to KO me, right? So I think we just take the KO. Um... Still no draw supporter. 
We're somehow going to beat a Kramer at VMAX deck. Potentially, not going to jump the gun yet. We might win the game without playing a single, like, with one draw supporter the entire game. All right, here we go. If they play a supporter, it might be a Marnie, which will help us. They could play Hyper Potion still, actually. They might have another one. They probably play two. They're playing one. They probably play two. Um, all right, let's go. He should be fine here. We can also Malana. 170. Another single strike. Okay, hold on. Is this game? We're doing 50. 140. That's game. We got him. Whew, what a match. What a game. Yes, sir. We got him. 140 damage. That was... I, bro, I don't know how we won that. We played one draw supporter the entire match. And we still managed to come out on top against a deck that can very easily just destroy me if they get one cram, like, with a ton of energy on it. So we got super lucky we won that game. Um, I got to see their list. How many Glimwoods do they play? Okay, they only had two. So they would have been out of Glimwood. So that we, we, the Galar Mine would have stuck. And they didn't have any switch in the deck. So actually, we could have potentially just stuck the Porygon there and won the game, actually, if we wanted to. So that was a potential win condition. All right. Uh, looks like we're playing against Pika here. That's interesting. I don't know how that match will play out. Uh, both times a little scary and a little annoying. Um, but not when our start is okay. We got a turn two Slow King, which is good. I wouldn't mind drawing another basic. I wouldn't actually mind getting a Toxic Rogue turn two because we have the ability to get that. Um, nice single strike. We get Hound Dower actually in case we do get body by Crushing Hammer. I think we're just going to attach the Dark Energy and. They could Marnie me. We have a Marnie. I'm not, Marnie's not guaranteed to get a Slow King. We could Crobat though. Let's just play the Calm. Get a Hound Hour. Yeah, we have Crobat. We're fine. We'll get this. Because we'll, we'll, what they'll probably Marnie. They could Hammer me. And I want to make sure we get the turn two poison off if we can. Like, that's going to be really important. So, like, we get body by Crushing Hammer, and they will get ahead. So, uh, we'll have to have Hound Doom in play to counter their Crushing Hammer, right? So, we got to play around the Crushing Hammer, unfortunately. This is why I like the Hound Doom, because Attach Attach Slow King is kind of terrible. Because if you run to somebody with Crushing Hammer, case in point, you lose the game, right? So, you got to go Hound Doom. We'll see what they grab. Best of our top decks would be probably, probably an energy, no, Houndoom, Calm, Evo Incense, Slow King, VMAX. They would all be good top decks. Yeah, they're going straight for the Bolton, which is what I was worried about. Honestly, again, a Galar Mine down would have been pretty nice so the Dedenne can't move as easily. Pika does play four switch too, but we do two shot them with the poison. And if they ever get stuck in the active, the poison will just KO them anyways. They're having a pretty good start though, which is a little terrifying. Their start is pretty fire. Yeah, the bolt hunt's a little awkward because you have to go through this and you have to go through two tag teams, which is fun. Um, see what they have in their hand here. An EXP share. You don't see that every day. Is that damage from an attack? It is. Yeah, damage from attacks. Actually, when we poison kill them. Oh, they don't have anything. Oh, they have to Marty them, bro. Are you serious? <laughs> oh my gosh. This man baited me, bro. He knows I have a Marty in my hand. All right, what do we draw? Hmm. He is in top deck mode. We could just do World of Ruin, actually. I mean, bro, what are the chances he draws into something here? Right? Let's do it, bro. Let's do it. World of Ruin and pray he doesn't draw anything. He can't KO me, actually. I don't think the Bolton can do enough damage unless he draws into a Coco play. What does he draw one time, bro? Please dead draw unless it's... Well, energy would... Well, we have Malon, actually. We can go Malon and Hound Hour if he draws an energy and attacks me. Please do not top deck out of this. Please get punished for your play. World of Ruin also bypasses EXP share, which is kind of cute. Also, please don't draw a switch. But if he draws a switch, he can't attack me. So it's still it's the same same result. All right. Please don't be a research. Be a Marnie. If it's a re if it's smarter, be a Marnie. The research. Fun times. Ooh, what's it going to be, bro? What's it going to be? Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. Hold me. I'm scared. He's taking a long time, so I gotta imagine he dead drew. Let's go! Oh my gosh. Thank heavens. He is getting closer to doing Tag Bolt, though. But we have Mute in the deck. All right. This Bolt Hunt goes down, and we get to do another World of Ruin. We get two prizes. Can we find a Research? Om. Um, okay, there we go. We got Crobat or Slow King. There's a Switch. Beautiful. All right. Whew. Let's go. That was just kind of... That was funny. World of Ruin, bro. I told you the attack's good. Yeah, he has to give me Dedenne. But... To a boss, yo, say anything. So, okay, now we can just absolutely punish my opponent. We can go calm for slow king V max. We can actually boss the Pika here and start to get damage on it. 
which is huge. We can start racking up the poison damage. Yeah, and then we can, we'll have to play Marnie next turn, or we can Maulana next turn, because we have switch in hand, so we can also Maulana next turn if we have to. Um, if he hits me with full blitz, we just go Maulana back into poison. He has to retreat this turn, or he'll die to poison. Um, so if he doesn't retreat, this will KO him, but now this thing can get hit one more time by a Slow King, and he will get KO'd. Does my opponent draw out of this, or are Slow King gonna win? He drew a Mewtwo. He can retreat in the Mewtwo, but once again, the poison damage does add up, which will two-shot my opponent, so not even the Mewtwo safe. Yeah, we're just gonna see a full blitz. So he can build up the Mewtwo here, so he can still kind of get a little far in the match, but he does just get KO'd by the poison. If we can pull off another boss single strike play, we actually KO the dead enemy and win the game. We discard. Okay, what do we get? Quick ball. There we go. We get a Crobat finally. Tool Scrapper. Yeah, he has to give me Mewtwo. I mean, the game's pretty much over. And this is what I like about the Poison deck. Oh, that was a huge top deck. Yeah, we're definitely Mount Lana in here. We're going to go Mount Lana. Get rid of Scrapper and Toxicroak. Heal into the Hound Tower. Quick ball away the Marnie. Or another Slow King V. We also could get Mew, but I don't think we're getting tag bolted. I just want to make sure we get another guy down. Then we can go switch back into Slow King. Crobat here for a nice six, fresh hand of six. Okay, well, that was eh, what I'm looking for. But we got Gallarmine, so hopefully this thing gets tr trapped in the active. And then we poison him, and he will die into his next turn. And we got to heal, so now Slow King can get not, not, can't get knocked out. Here we go, Slow King Supremacy. Will we beat a Pika deck? They have to move this Mewtwo here. And even if they go into it at NA, we have a chance of stopping him by going with another extra poison damage or extra single strike to KO the dead enemy in one hit. He actually only rods the Bolton back, not the Pika. Probably gonna be all she wrote, folks, but let's see what my opponent does here. This is lovely, man. Just Slow King's so cool. When you can knock him out going back into your turn, it is insanely good. But let's see, what does my opponent have? They have one card in their hand. Um, Will it be a supporter? If not, they lose. Thanks to Gallarmine Slow King, and that's game. We destroyed a Pika deck, sold them the Slow King, World of Ruin, and Gallarmine, and all that stuff just paid off perfectly. There we go. We beat a Pika Rom deck with Slow King VMAX, which feels pretty good, you know? Okay, I actually got a Plasma Blast pack to open up here. Yeah, I got a Plasma Blast pack to open up. We got to open that up big. We got to open that big boy up real quick. Where's it at? Plasma Blast. Where is it? There it is. All right. Uh, Secret Execute, Fuller Genesec, Fuller Frisian, Secret Rare Candy, Secret Rare Dustnor, Fuller Drachi are the best hits we can get out of the set. Ooh, double rare? Oh, poor Z. Dang it. Oh, we can get an Execute, though, at some point. I only have two of them. All right, one last game with the deck. We might have hit an ADP deck, which is to be expected nowadays. Now that ADP is on the versus ladder, expect to run into ADP a lot, which means put Path the Peak in your deck, and uh, you don't have to worry about ADP, you know? Just play Path the Peak, bro, and ADP, bro? Mm -mm, not even a chance, bro. And before they start playing Force Well. Actually, letting me go first is very interesting, which helps us a lot because we actually got a pretty solid hand. Um, best top deck would be a single strike energy, I guess? We'll see what we're playing against. Is it ADP? Could be Luke Metal, too. Luke Metal's a little sketch. Nope, ADP. Oh, we drew the Slow King. Let's go. Not going to Hound Hour down is unfortunate. Would have liked to have seen a Hound Hour there to try to get Hound Doom in play, especially if they play Crushing Hammer, which I know they do play. Because ADP players like to be evil and they like to play not only ADP, but now Crushing Hammer. So we might lose our energy. here. But if not, we could start doing Max Toxify. Um, I could go for Max Toxify with the two energy on it, though I kind of like researching. Um, but I guess we have Toxicroak, so maybe we don't need the single strike energy. We do need that extra bit of damage, though, to de take KO the ADP with the poison damage. And if we can knock out ADP before the ultimate rate, I think we have a shot of winning. If they get a turn one alteration, though, I mean, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. Um, oh, no. They got the nuts. They are down a switch, though, which is good. Let's switch that the better. Hopefully, they have big charm. Okay, so yeah, now it's going to be a bit harder to KO the ADP. Uh, we have Tool Scrapper, though, in the deck. That's why I'm playing a Tool Scrapper, because of Air Balloon and even big charm sometimes can be annoying. We could maybe play Tool Jammer instead, to be honest. Maybe Tool Jammer over Tool Scrapper is a bit better. Oh, they're digging. They really want to get this Alter Creation here. Come on, Dene. Don't give them the nuts. They are down a, eh, they're down a lot of spores now. That's good. Okay. They don't have it. Like, Lice? Nice. I almost said Lice. They got no organization either. No Marnie from us is unfortunate, right? No. Okay. Hmm. Get Toxicroak. I think we do just go for the max Toxify without the single strike energy. We only have three in the deck. And I'm not 
I have a bad feeling I'm not gonna draw an energy off this research, so I'm just not gonna I'm gonna play it safe. Still wanna get a hound hour though. Oh look at that, we dig in energy. I spoke too soon. Let's do this, I guess. Grab slow king number two. You can always calm next turn. Oh, just go max toxify. Not gonna be enough to two shot them, but at least we're getting the poison damage on them. At least we're getting the poison damage. If we had the single energy, we would have been able to kill them. Either way, though, they'll get knocked out during my, going back to my opponent's next turn, so that's fine. Or we can find a tool scrapper. Uh, if we get a tool scrapper, we could actually just knock them out. That could be huge. They could also switch out of the poison. Which then we'd have to go single strike energy to KO them. Yeah, switching out of the poison would be pretty bad. We'll see. We'll see what happens. What did they do? There's energy search. They can finally get the altercation off. W, not energy spinner. Um, as long as they don't get out of the poison, we should be okay. Right? One time, bro. Stay stay poisoned. They stay poisoned. And we Marnie them. That'd be pretty sweet. That would be ideal. Ooh, they have to dump their entire hand with a research. Love to see it. They actually don't play Mawile, which might have actually been a good thing for my opponent to do. Oh, they do play Swell, though. So now we don't have access to Galler Mine, which is a little unfortunate. But as long as they only play one Swell, we can bump that and then get another Galler Mine in play. Maybe we should play Marshadow to counter Swell. I don't know. Energy Switch gone. They're going Crobat. They're digging hard. Let's see what they grab. Yeah, I told you they played Hammer, bro. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? They scoop. Oh, let's go, bro. We beat an ADP deck, kind of. I'll take it. It's still being ADP. I'm going to have that ADP shoot video, guys, with the Slow King games there. I think you got the gist of how Slow King plays. I do like the deck. Like, it's actually a lot of fun to play. Um, it's a lot of fun to play because it's fun to just see if your opponent has the out to the poison or not. In some cases... They don't have the out to the poison. But yeah, I'm going to wrap the day's piece of you guys with the Sloking deck here. And I think you guys got the gist of the deck. Now, I will say, um, I do have some big things planned for the channel very, very soon. I already put a sneak peek on Twitter. Uh, follow it, by the way. If you don't follow my Twitter, help me follow. I'm actually very close to 1,300 followers. Um, but I got some big things, big upgrades for the channel coming very soon. I just am waiting on one thing to arrive. I am currently looking at my upgrade right now as we speak. So big things are coming to the channel when my package arrives. Unfortunately, it's taken a while. But anyway, start off with video, guys, on Slow King VMAX. Again, a lot of fun to play. It is the best poisoner. And if you guys have any other ideas for what could be added to the deck, let me know. Because maybe there are some things you could put in here. Maybe pat the peak over Galarmine. But Galarmine did put in his work. It really helped against the Pika deck there where my opponent couldn't just keep stalling around the poison. Um, maybe we should play more draw supporters. For a lot of a lot of this video was us trying to find supporters, so maybe we should play more draw supporters. But not sure what I would cut though. We could maybe go down to a two-two Toxic Croak line. That could be ideal. Maybe playing a two-two Croak line instead of a three-three line. Then we can have sneak like a Dedenne in the deck, and or maybe like a four-three search. A stamp actually would be good too. Uh, stamp poison Galar mine's a pretty good combo. So maybe play like a reset stamp in the deck. I don't know. That's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Help me on the road to reaching 17,000 subscribers. Shout out Karkavan down below. Use Crawl DF. And I'll catch you guys in another Chilling Rain video tomorrow.